back to another episode of Urban Figuration. Uh, this episode is a little bit different. I decided I wanted to be in front of the camera and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, so the fall season is upon us. Happy November, everybody. Um, October was a fun month. Um, I started off strong with a lot of Halloween shots. Um, but the first week of October, I started working. Uh, I got a full-time job as a line cook at the Grand Morton Hotel. Uh, it's a restaurant called Salt and Whiskey. I really like it there. Uh, really, really cool. like the pace. Uh, lots of room for growth. Uh, but besides that, uh, I haven't been shooting as much. Just because I'm working full-time. I get tired uh, from at home, playing with my son, and taking care of stuff like that. But I did manage to get a few shots in. Um, I did get a shot in for Punker Mike's competition, and I did get some shots in for the ACBA Halloween stuff, and there was something before that, I forget, that I did put some pictures in for. Um, but as you can see, I got the Thor Ragnarok stuff behind me. Um, I did just pick up the two-pack because I did just watch the movie. I was not going to pick up the two-pack, but after watching the movie, alright, yeah, I won it. <laughs> Uh, it was a great movie. Uh, I got to watch it Friday with my girlfriend. Uh, we watched it at uh, 10.30 or 11 at the Mira Mesa AMC. It was a great movie. Um, the comedy with action was really well balanced. Uh, the formula they had, the script was great. There was a few differences, and I'll get into that a little later, but I did like it all, all together. The story was great. It was really strong. Great, the actors were great. Um, I'll get into that in a little later. But uh, I really did enjoy the movie, and I'm going to crack those two open and try and get a shot out today. And I want to crack open that 12 inch Thor. That figure is really cool. Um, yeah, the movie was awesome. So, anyways, I want to show you guys uh, a toy show I went to recently that was at the Mira Mesa Holiday Inn. It was the Toy Store Collectible Show. Really cool event. You're really going to like the footage that I have there. Lots of cool stuff that had just been released and it just hit the streets. So I'm definitely going to have all that in here. So check all that out. Um, and I want to throw in some stuff from my son's Halloween. We went out trick or treating. We went to SeaWorld. You know, we checked out. Dude, SeaWorld was awesome. They were giving out king sized candy bars. I mean, it wasn't just a little fun size, it was full king size bars. So SeaWorld was awesome. Um, and then Halloween night, we went to Adams Avenue and just did some trick-or-treating for about two hours, and my son got way too much candy. <laughs> um, but before that, we did a parade in the morning, and that was really cool. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the episode and check out that toy show. Alright guys, stay tuned. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yeah.
All right, so I'm back from the show, and I ended up picking up the amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Wolverine. Uh, bigger fun factor than the Rebel Tech or the uh, the Mezco Deadpool. Uh, it did look badass, but I really wanted this one, so picked that up. And I also picked this up just because I haven't seen it anywhere yet, and I got it for 25. So whatever, I'm just probably gonna open him, take a picture seal them back up and put them on the wall. So Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok was an awesome movie. Um, the way the movie started, when he was chained up and everything, and was meeting that huge demon guy. That scene was awesome. Um, they showed it in the trailer plenty of times, but him actually talking to him and figuring out the story and what he's been doing the past two years, that was really cool. And then um, once he gets loose and starts fighting everything, that that first action scene was just amazing. It was a really good scene. And then they had, um, he was calling Hemdell, and Hemdell was there, and he had uh, the Executioner bring him back. And when he was fighting that dragon, I really loved how Thor was, he was really confident in himself in every battle. Like, he was in a life or death situation, but he was just like, no big deal. You know, and he was fighting that dragon and just put the hammer in his mouth. That was, that was freaking awesome. So, and then the Executioner summons him back, and they all, that was just awesome. So the movie was awesome. It was great. I really enjoyed it. I will give it a nine, nine, a nine out of ten. Um, I really liked the uh, the scene with Doctor Strange where he took Loki and he was just falling for thirty minutes, and then he talked with Thor and figured out what he was doing. And then they go and meet Odin, and then Odin tells them the story of Hela and that she's their older sister. I really liked that. That was a really good uh, twist on the comic because I believe in the comic, Hela is Loki's daughter. I do not remember. Um, if you can leave a comment and let me know, um, that'd be great. I do think she's his daughter from what I can remember. But uh, I did like how she came back and she was the older sister and she was basically Odin's weapon. How she just was incredibly strong and he pretty much silenced her because she was too strong and he changed his path and stuff like that. And then for her to come back and just be that strong and eliminate Thor's hammer immediately, that was freaking awesome. Um, and then Thor ends up on the planet and all, all everything plays out with the Gladiator Hulk and stuff and that was, all of that was really cool. I liked, I actually liked when he turned back into Mark Ruffalo and he was just totally confused and yeah. I love the scene where he cuts his hair and stuff like that. Um, some fights for everything. Valkyrie. Valkyrie was really cool. I wasn't expecting much from that actress. Um, she was in Westworld. And that was really cool. Uh, she was a really cool actress in that show, but uh, she really killed it as a Valkyrie. I uh, really enjoyed watching her in the movie. And uh, the ending, how everything unfolded at the end was great. I loved how the Executioner redeemed himself. I loved how Loki still, you know, did a little scheme. Uh, the after credits were really good, and that's going to lead into Infinity War. So that's my little tidbit about the Infinity, uh, not Infinity, but uh, Thor Ragnarok. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I was quick. Um, let's get into opening these figures.
Alright, so here's Valkyrie out of the packaging. Um, she came out pretty good. Uh, I like the way her hair came out. Uh, the skin tone's really good. The face looks pretty close to the actress. Um, I don't know her name right now, but she was in Westworld, and Westworld was kick ass. Um, but I do like her armor. I like the gray tones and the black tones, the black washes, and stuff like that. Uh, that all came out really good. I like that she has the armor plates right there. I like her skirt. I like her chest plate. I like her shoulder pads. Those are all really cool. The boots are really cool. The side blade right here is really cool. And the fact that the sword came with a she uh, sheath is also cool. And it has that little blue tone to it. In the back, her ponytail looks really cool. And she has the blue drape, which doesn't hinder any articulation or get in the way, really. So it's a really cool figure. Uh, articulation, single jointed elbow, uh, she can look down that far, up that much, left, right, uh, legs kick out that much, double jointed knee, ankle pivot, and hinge. And pretty much just no double elbow, no double elbows. Uh, so she's a cool figure, I enjoyed getting her uh, onto Thor. Alright, and here is Thor out of the packaging. Um, the head came out really good. It looks a lot like the actor. Uh, at first I didn't think so, but having it out of the packaging, they did a great job with him. Uh, the beard looks really good. The eyes look great. The hair looks great. Um, my only problem with this figure, um, it's the exact same thing as the other figure that came in the uh, Gladiator, Gladiator Hulk wave, is his leg got a little warped, and this figure is a little harder to stand. But I do have the other one, and I can just swap out, swap the heads around. Uh, but the sword is really cool. It came huge. It fits his hands. Doesn't weigh a whole lot, so he could hold it no problem. Uh, I do wish they gave us a Hemdale figure. Hemdale would have been awesome. The head sculpt alone is what I really want. Um, but yeah, uh, I really enjoy these figures. I'm glad I got them. Uh, shout out to my friend who hooked me up with them. Um, I just picked them up today, uh, Sunday, after seeing the movie, uh, again with my son. So I did see it twice, uh, good movie, <laughs> great movie, really recommend going to see it if you haven't already. And, um, alright, that'll be it for this two-pack. Well, alright guys, that's gonna conclude it for this episode of Urban Figuration. Um, I'm gonna try and, and put out as m many videos as I can, as consistently as I can. It might just be brought down to my photos and a music video with it. Um, I'm going to try and record as many setups as I can, you know, do the fast forward motion, just rush through it. Uh, but leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about this episode, um, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.